Gonzalez in the morning. 94.1 KDOK. Love your country. 94.1 KDOK. Love your country as we continue. Hour number four of the program. Thanks for joining us and being a part of the radio celebration. Downloading the app to your iPhone and Android. Selena Gomez. Hello. Brian. Still on mic two. Still on mic two. But that's okay, though. All right. We got our next uh, yeah. auditioning act coming in to chat with us. I feel spoiled. Like, I'm so glad Lupita's not here. Oh, yeah. So that I could partake in this. Be here to kind of witness this uh, firsthand. Yeah, this is amazing. All right. So who do we got in studio uh, this uh, morning? We have our next uh, group ready to come in here and wow us today, guys. Donovan. Yes, sir. Thank uh, you guys for having me. Good morning, Donovan. Now, wh- how do you say your last name? Amaya. Amaya. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm Donovan Amaya. Yeah. I'm Donovan. From, originally from, uh, born from Uvalde, Texas. So born and raised not even that far from down here. So okay. it's, it's like a good little hometown thing. There I like go. the fact that he's wearing a Amaya construction hat. <laughs> so he's like, you know, like his deal was like, put it on. Put it on. <laughs> well, actually, it's my dad. My dad has his own, my dad has his own company. And, and, and I told him, I was like, I'm going to be on the radio tomorrow. And he's like, man, he goes, it would be nice if you wear one of my hats. Aww. I was like, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Where's your, and where are you from? Go. I'm from Uvalde. Okay. So yeah. y'all are from. Yeah. Okay. I'm from I'm from Uvalde. My mom and my dad are, are there in Uvalde as well, okay. and they're big supporters, man, of, of me since I've been starting to do this music thing, man, and I can't Aww. thank them enough for everything they've done for me and supported me along the way, so if I can give back to them and, and make them proud like I am today, I, that's the best thing I can get out of all this stuff at the end of the day. There you go, Very man. Very good. Everyone uses dad for construction. That's yeah, right. I don't my dad for construction. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, me, do me a favor. Pull that mic a little bit closer to your mouth, because uh, we want to we wanna hear wanna every hear syllable. Okay. Who's there your you friend go. over there? So this is my, my, my good buddy over here. His name is Mr. David Lopez. Um, and he's Hello. like he's my sound guy okay. on the road and he's also my cajon player as you see him today sitting on this box right here and does he talk or yeah, yeah he does but oh. he said today he didn't want to talk so Why? he's like I'm gonna leave the talking to you so I'm gonna talk wow. to both of us today but he's, he's happy to be here too yeah. he's excited I'm is glad that he what came he out said? with me yeah. I, okay. I okay. promise you I, promise I mean you. he's on the cajon box but he ain't got the cajones to talk on the radio yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Take my box, and leave it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ew, David. You're on your own, Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyhow, so uh, uh, listen, man. We appreciate you coming yeah. in here. Thank y'all so much we, for having me, man. We appreciate want you it. to settle the uh, the long uh, debate that we have here in Del Rio. <laughs> Got you. How do you pronounce uh, Uvalde? Is it Uvalde? Uvalde? Uh, what, what is the correct term? For Honest, honestly, I've heard it a bunch of ways. I've heard all those yeah. ways that you guys have said, but the way I've said it in growing up, I've just said Uvalde, and, or I've like the older Mexicans in my town they say Uvalde so they say it like that so I mean I think either one of those two is cool with any way you want to say it I think as long as you're not like way off and you're like butchering it bad I think you'll be fine you'll be okay yeah I think you'll be fine Juvalde (laughs) Juvalde (laughs) Juvalde it's it's something like that then I think that's when people probably get a little upset and be like what the heck (laughs) Uh. by the way he's an imposter Jay Gonzalez Lopez (laughs) oh yeah yeah. I forgot we have a friend named Lopez but his name's David Lopez as well David Lopez yes yes by the way, good morning, guys. David has more stories about musicians than Musico does, guys. Just say it, laugh out loud. Okay. Yeah, David's been around with quite a few bands. He's been doing this stuff for a long time. Okay. So to have him oh. in my corner and Ooh. to have him with me is really cool. He's played with, like, uh, Abe Quintanilla and, and all those guys. Like, or uh, Abe Ooh. Quintanilla and yeah. all those guys and stuff like that oh, back crap. in the day. And so you're, still, so you're still waiting to get paid. <laughs> I was going to make that joke with Attaboy, Jay. Way to get in there. I mean, don't say too many names because Musico's going to come in here. Come and in here. Yeah. He's, gonna, he's gonna start dropping names. Yeah, he'll start oh. saying names. Yeah. David was actually the 25th Gumbia King. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. uh, By the way, is this Christian from Mokehete auditioning guy? No, no, no he no. does talk fast and <laughs> yes. a lot. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, how long have you been uh, performing now? So, live performing, we've been doing it for about what, like maybe five, four months. Okay. So, we're we're brand new to this. We're fresh right off the bat. But I'm 22. I'm super young, man. I got a bunch of energy in oh, me. Oh, do you? Yeah, Are you I young? So. <laughs> I think, I think so, so you know, and so I we, don't we, like this we've one. been we've been doing we've been doing it for five months, and Good we started you. we started back in January. We did like one or two shows in Uvalde, and then uh, like in March we started up again, and we went okay. from Concan to Kerrville, Texas, to Lakey, what Texas. What about Crystal to, City? We, we might hit Crystal City uh, actually June 10th. We might have a gig <laughs> there, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, oh yeah, and we played here in Del Rio too as well at Mesquite okay. Creek Outfitters. We oh, played nice. there for 
uh, back oh, in nice. April. So yeah, we've been all over the road, and now we're on a break right now for this <laughs> month, and starting June 10th, um, from June 10th all the way to about October 20, no October 16th, I believe we're booked out every weekend oh, playing, wow. playing acoustic shows across Texas. So like I said, man, we're I'm, a, I'm just a 22 year old trying to live his dream out, trying to chase his country music thing, and I tell David and a lot of people that believe in me, I think I got something. So hopefully you guys okay. can hear it today and see it, and, and you guys like what y'all hear. When's your birthday? And all that stuff. November your... November 18th. Oh, he's a Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio. Yeah. Ooh, you're what, dangerous. What you have is the lung capacity of a deep sea diver. <laughs> yeah. Lord, how do you talk that fast? I love I'm it. sorry. Are I, you I, a rapper? Woof. No, I'm not. You're not I'm a rapper. I'm working on talking slower, and I apologize. Yeah. No, no, don't thing. apologize. No, okay. I like it. It's okay. But it's happened. I, I've got it my whole life. Like since I was younger in school, my teachers would be like, "Slow down, you're <laughs> so fast," and I'm like, "I'm sorry." Are you but the middle child? I'm the youngest, actually. Oh, okay. So you gotta get more attention. Yeah, I get okay. all the attention, which is it's kind of a good thing sometimes, but sometimes it's kind of bad. But I honestly, I'm real independent, man. I kind of do my own thing, and and like I said, my dad's got his own company and stuff. But I'm kind of real independent. I don't He's like so having cute. stuff like that. So, so it's like al- it. it's always been good in doing that stuff, and and like I said, just chasing a dream. Can we record this? <laughs> Donovan Amaya is it's talking like, Amaya a minute right Amaya now. Amaya a minute. <laughs> I like that. I, I'm, I, I'm not the chase. I'm not the. What's it called? Um, what, what's it called? Trademark. Trademark. Yeah, yeah I'm not the first yeah. album title right there. Have you have you always played uh, country music? I'm yeah. assuming that's what you're yeah, playing. Yes, sir. Country music. Yeah. Yes, sir. I grew up listening to. Well, when I was younger, I would run around in, in my underwear all bad, of yeah. course, as any younger kid would do, and make a Brian bunch of noise and mess. <laughs> hey, we're on the same page then. And, I don't run around his underwear. Be quiet. And so I would do. Liar. I would do. I would do all that. Run around and stuff. My parents would just be blasting country music all day, every day Aww. on the radio stations, from George Strait to Alan Jackson to Tim McGraw to like Merle Haggard, all the good old country music. So I grew up on a lot of that stuff. Yeah. And now I've grown into a lot more uh, newer red dirt country. So like okay. more of the uh, I want to say Parker McCullum's and that kind of thing. But Parker McCullum, uh, Cole Wetzel, uh, Peckus in the Rooftop, Kobe Cooper, guys like those guys are kind of like more of my style nowadays. Okay. But I still kind of try to some songs I do have that c- traditional country sound. I try yeah. to keep it as country as I can. Are you and you write your own stuff? Yeah. So okay. right now I'm working on we're about to drop my first single next month, um, and it's going to be my first single out everywhere on all platforms, so you can download it, stream it, all that good stuff. Okay. Um, oh, wow. The, the goal is to drop three songs this year, so we'll have three out this year, and then next year we're gonna write, we're gonna drop an EP or an album. And so right now I'm currently in the process of writing that, and I've got about 14 to 15 songs already written nice. by myself, and I've been writing for about two years now. So how it's, long have you been playing guitar? Playing guitar two years as well. I, I kind of. One day, I had been, well, I had a guitar for the long, longest time. My mm-hmm. sister bought me an old beat up guitar from a garage sale for $5 and it had one string on it and full <laughs> of dust. And so mm-hmm. I cleaned it up, um, put some new strings on it, and then I learned how to play it like maybe cut like six months later. And I just learned off YouTube and a buddy of mine uh, out of San Antonio kind of showed me the three basic chords. And then from there, I kind of just took off and learned everything else on my own, whether it was YouTube or just kind of asking people like David and stuff like that for help. So right. it's been a good process. And the whole writing thing, it kind of just came natural to me. I kind of just wrote my first couple songs and I was like eh these are alright and then I wrote one that was really good and I was like oh okay I might be able to like kind of have something here that I like a lot so I've been writing since then and a lot of my songs have progressed and gotten really better so I'm, I'm proud of that uh, of my progress and this whole journey alright oh. well listen uh, I like how to take a breath we're, we're out of time uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even gonna... sing those songs today but it's okay <laughs> I, I, that that hard 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 to I really need him <laughs> and uh, Christian to have a conversation oh, forget it you can go oh. have breakfast and come back and they'll still be talking <laughs> yeah. so Great. Okay. Okay. Hold I'm on. Does, does your uh, dad's construction uh, crew work as fast as you talk? If yeah, so, we do. And I work with uh, Fix the placita, please. Thank I you. Will. <laughs> I will. I will. I was about to ask, what do you do? So you work with your Yeah, team. I work with my okay. dad. So Monday through Friday, I work construction from about 6.30 in the morning to 5, and we do concrete, all the hard labor mm. stuff. And then after that, I practice from about 7 to 9, 10 o'clock every night in my in my room and stuff. Because I tell myself, if I want to get better and get to the point yeah. where I want to be, I got to grind and do work hard. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I'm single Yeah, right you now. don't have time. Yeah, I don't have time. <laughs> okay. So I'm on the road all the time. So I, I know a girl's not going to like that yeah. kind of guy. So it's okay. not for everybody. It's not for, I got to find the right one, you know? Stay away from women. I'm telling yeah. you right now. Yeah. <laughs> Brian used to be he used to be very happy at one point. <laughs> <laughs> he weighed 150 pounds. Uh, and then he met Selena. And <laughs> but no, but she she seems like a really good woman for him. Oh, she I'm amazing. Like, yeah, she's an amazing woman. Yeah. She like also, amazing woman. David, can you shut up for a second? <laughs> <laughs> Poor David. He's like, 
<laughs> Why is David holding a mic? I don't know. Anyhow. Donovan should be a ra uh, rapper I talking that fast. I want to be a rapper. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, when I sing, I sing slower. So yeah. I want to like straight Busta Rhymes right now. <laughs> uh, Jay, any chance we can hire uh, Donovan to auction a few items at our farm sale this, this weekend? <laughs> going once, going twice. Sold. You could be an auctioneer, man. I could. I could. If this country music thing don't work out, I'll hit you up. I'm actually working with Donovan, you jerks. This guy is a talented and humble <laughs> guy. Musico, Musico check it. shut up. Oh, yeah. Why are you thank like oh, name dropping thank you. him? Thank you. Thank you, Musico. He's a piece of crap. I don't know. This dude. Andrew's my favorite guy. Let me Musico. give you some advice. If you want to make it in this business, don't hang out with stay away from Musico. Yeah. That's it. He puts, produce, he puts producer's credit on a Fisher Price speaker. <laughs> shut up over there. Jeez. That's it. Uh, Jay, uh, good morning. Uh, this guy already has my vote. I want to hear him rapping on stage. Yes. <laughs> wow. There's a great country rendition of Rap God. Get do. ready. Do rap God. Wow. All right. Good morning, guys. And I bet he's going to sing The Devil Went Down to Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to sing that one today. <laughs> so being from Uvalde, yes, sir. has anyone told you about Johnny Rodriguez and his whole legacy there? Yeah. I've heard that a lot. All right. Lot, so make sure. There. Yeah. Mm. And, that, and that's kind of the thing. Like, my, my end goal at the end of the day, like, uh, since I started doing country music, I kind of just told myself, I don't want to go chase money, women, and, and the glory and the fame and all that. At the end of the day, I got a guitar and I got myself to tell the truth through my songs. And I just hope people can hear that truth at the end of the day. And, and they like me enough to listen to me. You know what I mean? And, and like I said, I think people, they'll like what they hear hopefully today. And, okay. and they'll, they'll be like, wow, this guy is actually keeping an eye on Donovan of mine. Because telling you guys, you might as well jump on the train right now. Because later on when it's rolling, I'm not so sure there's going to be enough room for everybody on uh, there. Maya, so. minute. Does, Maya, Maya minute. minute. He does not <laughs> lack confidence. Sorry. I like the confidence. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You gotta have the confidence. You gotta have the confidence. Does he sing as fast as he talks, Jay? No, the song won't even be a minute. Just say, <laughs> man. All right. I think all I'm right. ready. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. I'm ready. All right. I'm, I'm ready for a slowdown. Like I've been played, played all day, but I mean, I'm okay. pretty. I'm pretty sure. I'm never apologize. Never. No. Just <laughs> no, go. Gotcha. I like that. It's 9:44. <laughs> I haven't played all day. <laughs> no. Just okay. are, we, are we doing full songs or like half the songs? I mean, if it's a, if it's a, if it's a, it's a minute. It's no. Okay. So both of these songs I'm gonna sing today are both original songs. Okay. So you're good. You can sing them full. Okay, okay. Got you, got you. Uh, by the way, uh, Dave is going to be playing. What do you call this again? Uh, the Cajon Drum. Cajon Drum. Yeah. Can, can you give us some beats here? I could do that. Too. Yeah. Yeah. There you so go. you got to just sit on the table. Uh, yeah. It's okay keep going. Table. Keep going, yeah. David. Keep going. <laughs> oh. oh, no. There you go. <laughs> hey, you're not part of this band. He's in the band now. He's in the band. I was thinking of words. Oh, oh, oh uh, man. Uh, Brian's about to start flowing, and then he stopped. I had words. I was like, there it goes. We might, have to, we might have to give people the freestyle after their. After yeah, their I'm words. ready. <laughs> All right. Nuggets and nickels. Let's go. Right, so, this well, first song uh, I'm going to sing for you guys okay. today. This one is called crazier than you think and it's going to be out uh, next month as okay. my first single out oh, on all look, platforms song about you, bitch. Shut up. and uh and basically <laughs> what the whole message in the song is about it's kind of just about um you going out and about, um, you going out and you can't remember anything you probably did the night before because you're doing all the bad stuff you shouldn't be doing. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes you may be just doing those things because you got a lot of stuff going on in your life and your mind, oh. and you're trying to use those things to maybe avoid it, or distract it. You know what I mean? My God, um, he but, knows at the end, but at the end of the day, um, like, I, <laughs> like I tell a lot of people, man, at the end of the day, no matter how much you talk to people or you vent to people, at the end of the day, no one's gonna know how how you really are on the inside beside yourself. So this is kind of the message behind it. But again, at the same time, it's kind of more of an upbeat song. So okay. I, like I want you to bang your head and, and have right. a good time and stuff like that. So I hope you guys. Enjoy. <laughs> there you go. By the way, we've got him in the house, guys. Donovan, yes, first uh, entertainer that doesn't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to sing this song for us. And we're going to work on it. And we're going right. to work on it. We got go, this. go ahead, guys. All right. This one's called Crazy Anything. Ready? Last night, just hope that I had a good time. And by that taste of whiskey in my breath, I knew that bad decisions were in my head. Like when I said, Let me have one more round. After this double, I'll be ready to burn it down. And let's turn up that radio as loud as we can make it go. I want to hear you scream my words. It's been a long night on the road. 
know the city lights is where I go when I want to get away. And the pain with the fame will both drive you insane. But the truth about me is maybe I'm way crazier than you think. How can I say this in a nice way? I'm drunk as and don't remember your name. And most likely cause I've had too much. But if I didn't, then it wouldn't have been fun. I told myself, let's have one hell of a night. After this double, I'll be ready to have a good time And let's turn up that radio as loud as we can make it go I wanna hear you scream my words It's been a long night on the road The city lights is where I go When I wanna get away And the pain with the fame Will both drive you insane But the truth about me is maybe I'm way crazier than you think. Just maybe, just maybe I'm way crazier than you think. Just maybe, just maybe, just maybe. proud about that song man when i wrote it i tell a lot of people man i honestly don't know how it hit me but i'm so glad it hit me that when one it came was out. good so wow. i'm really proud of that song and and that's why i think we decided to put it out first because yeah. we think that's the one that's going to speak to a lot of people that and hopefully really it does good. and hopefully it does so i hope people like it and enjoy it this guy should sing instead of talk always sing buddy never talk <laughs> thank you text max <laughs> no that was words. great that's like one you just i feel like you're gonna listen to in the backyard and yeah just like yeah oh it feels good that's, mm. that's the thing and that's and that's what and like I said, that's all I want from people. I want to connect yeah. with people through my music. I want them to hear it and be like, dang, this is a real, like you said, it's a really good song. Yeah. It's something you can kind of just vibe to and listen to exactly. wherever you go. It's not, and I feel like it's not trying to be too much either, you know? Like, yeah. it's, it's keeping that traditional <clears throat> country, but you kind of have some little bit of rock in there, too, once it's the whole good. song comes out, too. And we're almost done with this, so I'm super excited. <laughs> all right. And by the way, have you opened up for uh, any uh, big groups before? Mm, I've never opened up for any big groups before, but funny story, I actually met Randy Rogers back in March at the Frio Fest in Concan. Okay. And I snuck behind stage to go talk to him to give us like have an opportunity to talk to him so I snuck behind the stage stage and went to go talk to him and I ended up meeting him and he gave me his email his personal email and he wanted me to send him a demo track and all that stuff with my information so oh, I, nice. I sent it to him and he still hasn't replied but we're still keeping hope and, and so <laughs> I was telling my, my buddy over here David I was like man wouldn't it be so cool if we win this thing I was like and then we open up for him it's like a full circle moment <laughs> yeah. I'd be like hey Mr. Randy Rogers you remember me from back then he's like ooh stalker <laughs> yeah <laughs> but I'm opening for him so it's cool <laughs> this song is called Randy Checker Email. <laughs> yeah, this next one's called Randy Checker Email. It's gonna be like a country version of Stan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but I grew up on Randy Rogers too. I grew up on Randy Rogers yeah. too, man. And that's why whenever I saw this opportunity, I was like, man, I have to, I have to at least Heck give yeah. it a shot. You know what I mean? Because he's a he's a country legend, and he, him and his band have been around for a long time, and I got nothing but respect for those guys. Do you have a whole band, or is it just uh, so right you now? And David? Right now, yeah, right now it's just me and David, but we are working on a band. So I think we have a drummer, and we're looking for a guitarist and a bass guy so if you guys are a guitarist electric guitarist or a bass guy and y'all want to be in a country band let me know <laughs> so do you feel like you're going to be if, we, if you're chosen if i'm chosen we're going to do a full band okay i, I, I believe so because right. i got a couple guys that i work with in the studio right now for my song and stuff and i talked to some of them and i kind of let them know hey if i if i get chosen for this opportunity would you be down to kind of do a full band set just because I, hey. I feel like doing acoustic for a band as randy rogers they they deserve more than that so i, 
I mean, I think I could still hold it down. Me and David could definitely hold it down still, I believe. But, you know, just to give people in their real more of a show and more of a good time. And, and plus, it's more practice for me um, as getting my first, like, band in and stuff like that. Because that's the goal at the end of the day. We want to have a, a traveling band full time going around Texas and nice. other parts of the of country, of course, and stuff like that. But it's all with the grace of God at the end of the day. What is your What is your ultimate goal? I my mean, ultimate goal. So my ultimate goal, uh, I've actually had someone ask me this, like, a long time ago. Um, like I said, man, uh, my ultimate goal is kind of just, I kind of, I think my ultimate goal is kind of just wanting to make people proud of me. I mean, I, at the end of the day, I've seen my parents work so hard in their life when I was growing up and, and I was raised the right way and I was kind of raised, man, son, if you want something in life, you got to go get it. Nothing's ever going to get handed to you at your doorstep. So I kind of live by that mindset and that's kind of just my work ethic, man. Anything I do, whether it's been sports in high school or construction work or even the guitar now, I, when I put my mind to something, I'm always yeah. full throttle to the wall and, and I tell people, well, we're going to keep riding this thing till the wheels fall off and, and I don't see the wheels falling off anytime soon. I think they're just getting lifted up off the ground. So hopefully how, how old going. are you? I'm 22. 22. I mean, for you to be only just writing, that yeah. was pretty good for just with like your, one of your first songs. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Right. Thank, yeah, yeah, that was probably like the third or fourth song yeah. I wrote, and that 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 was the song that I was like, damn, okay, I think I might be able to write some good songs. Yeah. Then. So this next song too is really good too, and it, and it's gonna be out later on this year. But I like it because it has a little fun chorus, and I, and at the end I kind of slow it down, and I get to get the crowd involved. And and places we've been going, we've been telling them, all right, guys, pick up y'all's beer high in the sky, and, and they've been doing it. So it's That's been cool. it's been really cool to get yeah. them. And they've never heard the song, yeah. yeah. And they've never heard the song before but I've had a bunch of people come up to me and they just give me that extra confidence that I need. Like y'all said, you have confidence, but uh, I, like I tell my parents, yeah. if, I, if I knew I kind of st stinked at this or I wasn't any good, I would have found out a long time ago, kind of sort of, you know what I mean? Because this industry isn't something you kind of just come into and people are going to be, they're going to be honest with you, whether you like it or not. So they're going to tell you straight up if you suck or you don't suck. <laughs> and uh, you got to be, and you got to be have thick skin for that. Jay, can you ask Donovan if uh, we can borrow his uh, beat guy this weekend, the Michachinas, checking it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they, they, they need a drummer for oh, the I'm parade. The Thank you. <laughs> Laser Sanchez is recording his record as well. Oh, uh, yeah. A Del Rio favorite guy, mm -hmm. just FYI. Yeah, he's on my record. He's uh, playing the, the lead electric guitar on this, so I appreciate him so much. And this is uh, Randy uh, Rogers. Uh, Jay, we have a uh, restraining order on this guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez. Jay, so this is how El Musico meets all these people. He knows that uh, he knows what El Musico shows him. <laughs> yes. What? I don't know. And I love this guy. Uh, doesn't uh, uh, I love this guy. He, he uh, definitely has a unique sound. You do. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Where do you feel you get your sound from? Um, I, see, the thing is, like, I don't really, like, I had a lot of people tell me before, they're like, oh, you, you're like in the next Parker McCullum. And, I, and at the end of the day, that stuff's really good to hear. But at the end of the day, man, I just want to be the only Donovan Amaya out there. So I kind of just try to go for my own kind of sound. Um, some of these songs, like I said, I listen to a lot of Cole Wetzel, Parker McCullum, Kobe Cooper, Pex and Rooftops. Yeah. Um, and a lot of those guys, they have kind of the sound I have too. But like I said, I have my own sound. So I kind of try not to mimic that too much but if I can feel like a good upbeat song or whether it's a slow sad song and I'm writing that day kind of just whatever comes out of my mind and, and I want to write about it. I always have to have a message before I write a song because if not I'm just I'm just a mess <laughs> yeah uh, by the way good morning guys he's your man Jay definitely get this very guy nice, yeah, very you. nice. this you. guy is better than the other but still uh, maybe he can play the saxophone uh, <laughs> for the upcoming jazz band the coke guy oh, check okay. it out. thank you drunk <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's on coke. Anyhow. Uh, by the way, sneaking behind the stage and getting their, their email and phone number, that shows uh, that he's determined, guys. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Or he's crazy. Yeah, so, or he's crazy. I mean, hey, just but, sing a song about But actually, it. other funny story um, to do, I've actually partied with Pecos in the rooftops as well. So I've actually been with them on the bus, yeah. and I've talked to a bunch of those guys too. And they've been real, they're actually a really cool group of guys, and they're not like jerks or anything. They've been giving me advice. And, oh, and yeah. I consider us kind of friends. I mean, I don't know if they consider us friends, but the last time on Saturday night they played in Concan and and they got they brought me backstage because I'm friends with the bass guy in the band and and he brought me backstage and, and I ended up talking with them all over again and hanging out with them so like I said they've been real kind of he's help forcing towards friendships me. not yeah. forcing friendships it. but then, you got you got to have connections you know yeah. what I mean we'll be my and, friend. And, and, and like, yeah. I say that to Jason Momoa all the time but he's I tell them definitely I don't, hanging out with musical I tell I tell them I don't want to overstep either because yeah. that's the last thing you want to do because like they're artists at the end of the day but at the yeah. end of the day they're all human and I told them that I was like y'all are all human and y'all want to be treated like human. Y'all don't want to be treated like rock stars all the time. You know what I mean? I mean, I've never heard of them, so. <laughs> does, does everyone in Uvalde say at the end of the day, though? I mean, just curious. At the end of the day? I mean, no. At the end of the day, I no, think. I think that's just a musical long. thing. Yeah, at the end of the day, at the end of the day. So. <laughs> all right. Well, listen, uh, we got one time for one more song. I got you. Perfect. What song are you doing here? So this next song, that's another original song, and it's going to be out probably, like, I would say November, December. Okay. That's the goal. Um, and it's going to be the third 
third single we released this year so not the second but the third but it's a really good song like i said and um it's called risk it all and so okay. basically it's about kind of you kind of get done with a relationship or something and you go out and you're trying to have a good time forget about that person but you end up seeing them every single where you go so it's kind of like well you know what i've had a couple beers that maybe you know after these couple beers i've had uh maybe we can give it one more shot and see what happens if we give it one more chance and risk it all and, and put our level on the line one more time so this is kind of that and but this is also kind of it's it also says like um it talks about your mistakes and stuff like that in the, in the verses yeah. and stuff like that because you know you, you do a lot of things sometimes in relationships that you're not proud of at the end of the day but we're all human we all make mistakes so we just got to go from there and learn and, and keep growing in life and stuff like that so all right it's always good but this one's called risk it all and it is an, another original song as well all right here we go donovan take it away man Supposed to end up okay when you walked out that front door and didn't have much to say. Now I sit here and wonder if late at night you still think of me, or did you close up that old box and throw away those memories? Let's have another beer. I'll drink it right here Until I see that morning sun I know why you came It's always the same the reason that you call me And I know we've done this a million times But baby, how about we give it one last try And see where this one might fall After we risk it all Don't you be afraid to make your way back here A lot of things were left unsaid And I know I wasn't clear I could say I don't give a damn about you and the craziness But a woman like you sure makes it hard to resist Let's have another beer I'll drink it right here Until I see that morning sun I know why you came It's always the same The reason that you call me And I know we've done this a million times But baby, how about we give it one last try And see where this one might fall After we risk it all have another beer I'll drink it right here until I see that morning sun I know why you came it's always the same the reason that you call me and I know we've done this a million times but baby how about we give it one last try and see where this one might fall after we Get off. Thank you. Thank you. 
song. I know it's song, but it will be out this year. Right, man. That was good. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Thank you so much. That was fun. All right, guys. So you guys are in the running uh, for thank the you. opening yeah. act uh, oh. for Randy Rogers, guys. Thank you for uh, thank taking you. the no, uh, yeah, taking the drive down here, man. Yeah, thank y'all for having me out on my first ever radio show. So I appreciate oh. it. Thank y'all. Yo, so I always have a special place in my heart. I promise you. Good. Yeah. Sorry, it looks like this. No, y'all are yeah. fine. It's like everything <laughs> I imagine. I'm like, oh, this is so cool to me. Oh, yeah. Three fat people in one room. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's like it's kind of like I was my parents last night, man. It's all like a full circle moment because like the things I've been wishing for and like dreaming of they're all kind of coming through oh, like good. I watch all my favorite artists do interviews and stuff like this on the radio and like oh. now that I'm actually Manifested. doing one yeah it's manifest it's kind of weird like looking it's at great. myself so By the I hope way, people yeah. enjoy it who broke your heart that's uh, what our <laughs> listeners want to know hey 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 hey, hey, hey. what's her name of uh, your beeswax <laughs> that's your beeswax <laughs> uh, has he performed at Lunkers though that's no, the question I have not and I probably won't anytime soon just because we're like I said from June to the end of October we're on a, a pretty lengthy tour so we'll be hitting Uvalde the first tour date which will be at the Honey Festival playing with William Beckman which I'm super excited about that um, at, at the Honey Festival and he's a Del Rio native too he's from Del Rio yeah, as well, we know so. <laughs> and, uh, and then after that after that I think the next weekend we're in Midland and then we go uh, Ingram and then we'll be in Copeland Texas and we'll be all over the place nice. we'll be Corpus Port Aransas stuff like that so we'll be playing some good venues we'll be back in Uvalde Georgetown um, Abilene we'll be playing Abilene this year stuff like that and we'll be playing in May Pearl which is by Dallas, I believe, and then we're playing in Denton at the end of the year too, in, in December. Everywhere. So, yeah, we're everywhere, man, and, love and it. we love. And, and like I told, uh, and like I said, I'm young, so we have the energy to travel and stuff like yeah. that. So right yeah. now it's just me and David. But hey, we'll we'll bring the life to your bar or your party anywhere. I promise you, and you won't regret having us out there. You'll have a good time, and nice. I think we're worth the money and all that stuff. So all right, David, give us a give us a beat, man. We wanna <laughs> we wanna sing this segment off. Can you give us a good like a, a nice little beat? Yeah, that we can kind of get yeah. Take it away, Brian. Yeah, first one on deck. <laughs> it's the end of the show. We're glad you tuned in. We think I had a lot of fun and lots of grinning. Thanks to my and the other guy. <laughs> Hope to see you all tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah I like there that. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. That hey, hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Like wow, that. babe. That was really good. Yeah. <laughs> nuggets and nickels. Nuggets and, and nickels. Everyone, everyone, everyone right together. Let me when know. your drummer, when your yeah. drummer drops the beat, you gotta follow that, and that's the way you go. <laughs> Brian has my vote, guys. Just so <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Yeah. Also, good morning, Jay. All of a sudden, it got cloudy. It looks like rain right now. Oh, no, no, it's just we're, we're driving in here. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> and let's have uh, Brian open the show, guys. Thank you. All right. <laughs> yeah. Donovan. Is over. Yes, sir. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you all so much yeah. for having me. I appreciate oh, it. Right. Thank you all so much. We'll take a break. Final segment right after these words. Wake up.